people say roads are obviously a job for government. And government did build the interstate highway system, and overwhelmingly it is government that maintains our roads. But as you all know, government doesn't do anything well. In my book, Myths, Lies, and Downright Stupidity, I offered readers $1,000 if they could come up with one thing that government does better than the private sector. I'm yet to pay, still waiting. It's not that there aren't things most Americans want government to do, like fight wars and enforce contracts, but in terms of efficiency, the private sector is always better. And that goes for roads, too. People say only government can build and maintain roads, but that's not true. Increasingly, private road builders are building roads and doing it better than government. They built this double-decker underground highway in Paris. It will now take them 10 minutes for a journey that used to take 45 minutes. Private operators have more of an incentive to keep traffic moving. The more cars that go through this tunnel, the more money they make. So they clear accidents quickly and find them quickly thanks to 350 cameras they installed inside the tunnel. Any incident is detected in less than 10 seconds. They rush to tow the obstacle away. Traffic keeps moving. In California, instead of building a brand new road, a private company added two lanes in the middle of Highway 91. Drivers can use them or not, but if you pay, you get to go this fast. You don't even have to slow down for tolls because they installed improved electronic toll collectors. Those are just a couple examples. After the success of Highway 91, other states started leasing their highways to private companies. We're joined now by one governor who did that, Mitch Daniels of Indiana. So, Governor Daniels, the Indiana toll system somehow was losing money? That's right, uh, John did, and uh, pretty consistently so. How can you but lose money a on way. a toll? How can, how can you lose money on a toll road? Well, if government runs it, there's a good chance it won't be run well. And uh, they found a way. Uh, you know, they had uh, no incentive as a monopoly to treat their customers well or to uh, uh, be efficient about what they did. Um, so and you... again, we, uh, we found a better way. And as part of the better way, this was a political controversy. You said, I want to lease this to this foreign company, and you took heat from that. The Pittsburgh Post-Gazette said there was a backlash against privatization. Somebody said, Indiana should run itself, and people didn't like this at first. You have to remember that we were really trying to solve another and much larger problem than a bad toll road. Uh, we had uh, several billion dollars worth of needs to build new roads and bridges, uh, infrastructure, the kind that creates jobs. Uh, in uh, a modern economy, and um, no way to get the money to do that. So the lease of our toll road, which brought us $4 billion of money, no taxes and no borrowing, cold hard cash to be reinvested in our state's future, that really was a means to an end. Now, we got a lot better toll road out of the deal. How did you get lease, a lot uh, better toll road? Oh, yes, because in addition to the $4 billion cash the state got, uh, the uh, the lease commits the operators to invest another four plus billion in the road over time. Already we have automatic or electronic tolling. Uh, we have more lanes. They bought us a new police post and, and 25 more state troopers. Uh, so we, we have the safest, freest flowing, um, best operated road we've ever had. And they did all kinds of things that the government hadn't done. They have some other kind of de-icer that's cheaper and works better. They have computerized snow plows that use less salt. Why couldn't the government do that? Oh, in theory they could have, but in 50 years they didn't. Again, government's a monopoly, and we know uh, how monopolies tend to mistreat their uh, customers, uh, having no incentive and no competition to do better. John, the, uh, the operation that we have can best be thought of as a highly regulated utility. Uh, we have a couple hundred pages of obligations, uh, which we tightly supervise to make sure that the road is better run than it ever was before. But uh, really, uh, the main insurance policy we have that the toll road stays better is the fact that if they run a lousy road, people will find a reason not to use it and they'll lose money. And yet, politicians often sneer at this idea of privatization. I once played tennis with an official from the Massachusetts Transportation Authority, and I had done this research. I was excited about these private roads, and I brought it up and asked if he was considering it, and he said, oh, 
That's this right-wing idea. The mass pike, I think, will keep it. It's such arrogance. It's very disappointing that um, folks um, um, of a different persuasion would rather have the political power over the money than to uh, work in a public-private way to solve this big problem. We're joined now by Randall O'Toole, who studied transportation for 20 years. He's the author of Gridlock, Why We're Stuck in Traffic and What to Do About It. And Randall, you're saying that if we privatize more, we'll be less stuck in traffic? Well, absolutely. Uh, you, when you fly an airplane, the airlines know that certain days of the week, certain times of the year, there are more people who want to go, so they charge more during those times, and they charge less during other times so they can fill up their planes all the time. Well, that brings up something that Highway 91 did. They, they have congestion pricing. The toll changes based on whether it's rush hour or not. That's right. And, and private entities will have more of an incentive to do this than, than public agencies. And so wow. uh, we'll get less congestion. Why do well, they because, have more of an incentive? Well, because they know their money is coming from the users. They know that they need to provide a quality product to the users. In Highway 91, if it gets congested, they are committed to giving people refunds. So uh, they're charging to get you through without having to deal with congestion. They're charging to save you time.